Coach, welcome to New York. I was just curious. Uh, this, I believe, is your first NFL job. What yeah, thank you. That's what, correct, yes. What intrigued you about coming to New York and, and your thoughts so far on, on working with Joe Judge? Uh, well, first, I had to do a lot with Joe. Uh, Joe and I have known each other for, I'd say, 10 to 12 years uh, back from when I was coaching high school ball. We worked together at the University of Alabama. So uh, he and I are pretty decent friends, kept in touch. So he was a big part. And then uh, as far as the attraction to coaching in the NFL, I mean, you always want to coach at the highest level, you know, whether you're a player, coach, whatever, compete at that level. So once he got an opportunity, presented that to me, you know, I was really excited, uh, you know, really excited about being here as well. Thank you. Dougie. Hey, Kevin, welcome. Thank you. Um, you obviously were with Joe very early in his coaching career. I'm just curious, uh, you know, what so stood out about him back then? Did you think he had this type of future uh, way back then? You know, uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, I really thought he did. But when you think of, you know, a guy that's uh, you know, kind of a friend of yours, colleague, co-worker, uh, you know, getting a head coaching job at New York, New York Giants is something that's really, you know, kind of like, wow, you know. Uh, but, yeah, early on, Joe's always been an organized guy, very articulate, uh, does a really good job, loves football, you know, good family guy. So he fits the mold, in my opinion. Thanks. Yep. Mark? Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Good. Um, with, with Ryan Connolly, obviously, he's coming off a pretty big injury off of a rookie season. Uh, just curious what you've seen from him. What do you like about him as a player? I'm sure – in some circles, you were familiar with him at the college level. Um, and, you know, what, what's Ryan's ascension here uh, over the first, you know, couple weeks of camp? You know, um, like, like all the guys, they've done a really good job of coming in and, and working and kind of understanding what it is that Coach Judge, Joe, set down as a foundation of, of our team. You know, the fundamentals, uh, attention to detail, uh, situational awareness. Uh, so he's done a really good job, you know, Training staff did a good job of getting him back in time for, you know, once training camp kind of started. But uh, he's done a really good job, just like all the guys have in the room, of coming and working and, you know, learning as much as they can uh, each day. Thanks. Patty. Hi, Coach. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Thank you. Coach, you have a lot of new talent here to work with, guys who can maybe do different things inside linebacker, outside linebacker, some guys who can play with their hand in the dirt. Can you just give us a little insight into the sorting out process here? Obviously, you've got to see what they're doing on the field, but do you also kind of integrate your teaching with what Coach Spencer's doing, with what uh, Coach Bayalema's doing, and so forth? Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of it ties into what Pat Graham has kind of laid down as uh, kind of who we're going to be uh, defensively. Uh, some of that ties into who, what our personnel is. So, yes, we all kind of co uh, collaborate on that. And um, in our skill set that we teach is, again, around the fundamentals that Joe's laid down, just of the functional movements of a football player. So, uh, yeah, there are times where we pair up, you know, with a defensive front, with the outside backers, and kind of interchange uh, uh, players, you might say, ideas. He'll coach, you know, the inside and vice versa. Uh, it sort of just depends on what's going on during practice time. And in terms of, I know you just started working with the guys on the field recently, but how much can you glean from their college film in terms of, okay, this guy's going to be a better fit inside, this guy's going to be a better fit outside, and so forth? Um, you know, a lot of that, obviously, you know, you look for the, for the length on the edge and you look for the, you know, the, the change of direction on the inside. Uh, but until you actually see those guys in person, you don't really, sometimes they're bigger, not as big as what you thought they were on film. So, um, you know, it's best to be able to see those guys in person. And once you get them here, then you go, okay, this guy may be better to, you know, train in a couple of different positions, whether it be outside, inside, uh, back and things like that. So, College film is a big part of it, but once you get your eyes and hands on him, you might say that's the best way to, to find Thank out. You. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. This will be the last question here. Uh, Canavan. Hi, Coach. Tom Canavan. Um, I know you're coaching inside linebackers, but is there any um, – are you going to get any joy working with Zoe again? Yeah, yeah, you know. Is it, yeah, it's funny because I think I was here maybe a week and he popped in, you know, and uh, – I hadn't really seen much of him since we both left the University of Georgia, but 
yeah, Lorenzo, great person, great player, good family. And um, I'm actually looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, you kind of hope he's a voice in the locker room and lets the players kind of know who you are before you show up.